Hey, good evening, everybody. I am Chuck Rogers, licensed professional counselor and licensed marriage and family therapist. And I'm Keith Dunn, and I spent a day of creativity today. Maybe he'll invent Gmail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be something different, like squirrel mail or something, something and crazy like that. Together we're tabletop coffee. <laughs> yeah, where we are bold and never, ever bitter. And tonight we're talking about we do like the 90-90 rule of minimalism. Stay tuned and we'll talk about it. You know, we were joking about the creativity thing earlier but and, and the Gmail thing, but my understanding is that that is actually true, right? That's, yeah, that's that right. Google gives their people... A certain amount of time every day to be creative yeah. and supposedly that's where gmail was created right? right and so instead of having an hour a day i'm just going to take a day a week <laughs> <laughs> and have a creative day yeah so who knows what who knows what will be dropped into your spirit i know it's amazing i i, I just there's no telling what will come out of this mind <laughs> no that's for darn sure <laughs> So the 90-90 rule, a good thing. Yeah, we talked, uh, I think in our last video that we put up about the 90-90 rule, we didn't like it because no. we thought it was... Uh, too short. Too short. But why don't you explain what the 90-90 rule of minimalism is? So the 90-90 rule, and you know what? If you haven't watched that video, I'll put the link right it, up here for you. Yeah, you'll want to take a look at that. But, you know, the 90-90 rule is if you haven't used something in 90 days you can get rid of it. Or if you have something that you're not going to use in the next 90 days. Yeah, kind go of ahead a combination of, of the two. So yeah, so it's kind of like a six month Six month thing. pocket. So right. if you haven't used it in there, it's probably a good idea to uh, get rid of it. Right. However, our thought is that that's for somebody who's really advanced. <laughs> yeah, that more advanced than me. Be, yeah, be actually harmful for somebody who's trying to get their feet off the ground and right. declutter and become more minimal in their focus because it can be really daunting and it could cause people to go, oh, screw that. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to yeah. move forward with it. So we, th we right. really thought it was... Um, it's too restrictive. Yeah, it was too aggressive. Yeah. Too uh, too ambitious, maybe, was the way. Yeah, that, that's good. You know, I'm on the 900-day rule. Yeah. And then there's the year rule, which is mm -hmm. if you which is what I it, can do. I can year. do that. Yeah. Can you? No, I can't do it. Yeah, in theory. And I then would like to. People, some people, if I haven't used it in six months, to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you what happened with okay. this thing. So last week we launched this video, and then I'm in my office having my time with God, and I received a text from my office manager extraordinaire, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle. And she says. Hey, can we please get a drip coffee maker for the reception office up okay. front by the lobby? Right. And I'm thinking, man, I got you guys a really beautiful kitchen with granite <laughs> countertops, two refrigerators, a wonderful Keurig mm -hmm. coffee maker. It's a really nice Yeah, one. it is a super nice model. And you're wanting an automatic drip coffee maker in your office? Yeah. And then I started thinking about how busy mm -hmm. that reception office is i mean busy in this sense busy with stuff clutter everywhere yeah it really yeah. is it, it's a, it has been a, a little bit cluttered yeah michelle and christy love their stuff especially michelle <laughs> she likes to make it homey and cozy and i'm thinking mm -hmm. okay we're gonna add a coffee pot and yeah. it's not just a coffee pot mm -hmm. then because that means you're gonna add coffee cups and that that's means right. you're gonna add accoutrements like creamer and I guess I should say condiments opposed it's, to accoutrements. Yeah, it's like a coffee station. Yeah, you're going to have all this stuff so it's going to make this crowded room even more crowded. crowded. Mm -hmm. So I went out there and said, okay, what's your goal? What's your end goal? Why, why do you want this? All right. What are you trying to accomplish? And so Michelle says, well, you know, fall's coming and we'd like to make, you know, pumpkin lattes for the staff to come in and talk and it would smell good and feel good for everybody. So I, I see this dream. Remember, it's always about mm -hmm. dream. It is. And I, I like the dream of making pe people feel comfortable. Right. So I and I said, well, what's wrong with our really beautiful kitchen? I mean, it really is a beautiful kitchen. Right. And Christy says, we just don't want to walk down there. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, if you think about it, though, I mean, that's good, what, 100 and 100 foot walk? Oh, at least. 100 yeah. and, 140 foot walk? I mean, yeah. that's a good ways down yeah, there. It's down there. Yeah. So we laughed, and I said, okay, here's the deal. I will buy you a coffee pot, <laughs> and you can do with it what you want under one condition. And so they were like, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. I said that we apply the 90-90 rule of minimalism to this office. Did you yeah. have to explain that to them? I did. I said, anything that you haven't used in 90 days goes. Anything that is objectively likely not to be used in the next 90 days goes. It goes. Right. And they said, deal. Okay. And then she says, because it is really kind of cluttered. And, and Christy goes, yeah, and there's a lot going on in here. <laughs> So I went into a double session. I had a 90-minute session with somebody. Okay. And I came out, and they were ecstatic. They were excited. Come and see what we've done. They had revamped that office in 90 minutes. And wow. And it looked frigging awesome. That's great. I mean, it really was very incredible. I was okay. impressed. And they were excited. They felt good. And they said, this is where the coffee pot's going to go. And, you know, it, it's now come in. Mm -hmm. So... I went into the reception office today. We were talking about this. And so here's a video from Michelle. Here's what Michelle has to say. If you haven't used it for 90 days and you don't foresee yourself using it 90 days from here, get rid of it. There you go. And, and what happened recently in this office? I got, oh, we did the 90 downy day and we organized everything. We made, we made a little coffee spot. Chuck got us a coffee maker because he loves us. And we did all the organization stuff over here. We made space because he said, if you're going to add something else, you have to get rid of other things. And so we did. Thanks, y'all. Welcome. So Michelle, and she was really excited yeah, to she... be able to go through this process and to have that coffee pot. That was great. <laughs> yeah, that was great. So it was really good for them. Good for me, yeah. good for our team as well. So I would say that what I learned from this is that under certain circumstances and in certain places, the 90-90 rule of minimalism can be beneficial. Mm -hmm. I was That's wrong, true. and it can work in certain conditions. Like a business. Yeah. You know, I didn't even think about that when either. we were talking about it before. You yeah. know, anytime I'm thinking about minimalism, I'm thinking about the home. Mm -hmm. And I'm not thinking about the business. So that was a great thing to look at because business is totally different. It, it is very different. Yeah. So that can be applied to maybe your business. Yeah. So I would think that almost, any, it would be really interesting, but I would say an office setting would really, really be able to make this applicable. Yeah. And you know the other thing I learned from this? What's that? You can get a lot of work out of somebody <laughs> with a coffee pot. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable. It's best 40, 50 bucks I have. I know. I just think of how much they got done in 90 minutes. Oh, how man. long would it have taken if it if there wasn't a coffee pot involved? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I hope you liked our content. If you did, would you please subscribe? Because we would really appreciate that. Yeah, please ding that bell so you're notified of upcoming episodes. And make sure to like it. Yep, share it with your friends. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Until next time.